All right, so I am feeling very under the weather right now, including uh, a very, very sore throat. So I'm probably gonna be very dry in this. All right, so there's a lot of people out there working jobs that they don't enjoy just because the promise of money. Now, the promise of money is valuable and it's very soothing uh, to the mind, especially for those who uh, find themselves always in the comfort zone, which life will push you out of your comfort zone regardless, so you might as well. But some would say that this would be the root of all evil. Now, when I mention the root of all evil, um, a lot of people think of money being the root of all evil, but that would be a victim mindset. And I've heard that this comes from a Bible verse that's been misinterpreted. It actually apparently says the root of all evil is the love for money. You see, if you're doing your job just for the money itself, the money is a means to an end to get what you want. And that's why in the last video I was trying to get you to <clears throat> figure out what you wanted rather than just the money. What do you want the money for? The money is just a means to an end. That's why I'm so big on finding your purpose and then making money doing that. Because if you find your purpose, number one, you'll know if it's your purpose by knowing whether or not you would do it for the money or even without the money. If you would do it without the money, then that is something that you love. You should work for service. You, should, you get money by providing service, no matter what. If you're buying an ebook online, the person who wrote that is providing a service to you. Uh, whether or not you're getting your haircut or paying your taxes, uh, everything comes down to a service. And so, as in the last video, what do you want? What do you love? Because a big thing about finding happiness from within and achieving self-mastery would be to find what you love. So first, figure out what do you want? And then figure out from that list, what do you love? Because if you have a purpose that you're working on, you've got things to cast for to help you and improve yourself other than just casting for money, love, or power. Now some of you might be like, you know, I don't know what to do. Um, this is why I say we gotta use the thinker. <laughs> okay, I'm cracking myself up. <coughs> but, you gotta think. That's why I made the Know Thyself video. You're not gonna know what you need to do until you know yourself. You ever find it strange how everyone around you seems to tell you what you need to do? You've got peers, family members, coworkers, acquaintances. You know, you should. this is what you really need to be doing. But then those people themselves don't even know what they need to be doing. Now, maybe whatever they found out worked for them, and that's great, but that might not work for you. And this is why the first person you need to understand and you need to know is yourself. Because if you don't even know yourself, how can you begin to help other people if you can't even know yourself to help yourself? You can't help somebody that you don't know. I mean, you could meet somebody on the street and they could tell you their certain circumstances, but unless you know, you know, the whole story and like, you know, everything that's going on, you wouldn't really be able to give them genuine advice. You would just be giving them what I call Passover advice. It sounds good for now and it's just gonna keep them going for like the next five minutes and you know, they're gonna go back to whatever life they had. Now, over on Mind and Magic's channel, he talks about finding your purpose by thinking about what you wanted to do when you were a child. Now, when I started to think about that, it started to really branch out. And especially if you start thinking about things that you wanted to do as a kid, you want to branch out other than just, you know, you could say, you know, I really wanted to be part of law enforcement or something like that but not necessarily a cop. There's so many different branches of that, just like law. When you say law to somebody, the first thing that pops into people's mind is just criminal defense. I mean, everyone talks about lawyers like they're just out there helping the people get away with shit. And there's so many other branches. There's so many other branches of law. When you start looking into what your purpose is, you're gonna have to research. As I said, use the thinker and you're gonna have to branch out you're gonna have to research because there's paths and things out there that you didn't even know existed now out of the ones that do exist you could create something yourself you could invent something start something new 
Now, let's say you've got an idea. You already have an idea of what your purpose is. You know what really drives you. You know your passion, but you have no clue how to make it as a money-making business or to keep you financially stable. Now, when it comes to that, number one, is there anybody else doing that thing that you're thinking about doing or something very similar? Now, if it is, you can start looking out to those and see what they're doing and then modify what they're doing and fit it to yourself. Now, let's say that you're like, wow, I don't even know how to start this. Nobody's doing this. Now, that might seem like a curse and you're like, damn, I really don't know what to do. But that gives you the chance to be the first one out there starting that. And you could gain a lot of influence, a lot of money. You could gain a lot of happiness from doing what you love. It's one of the three key ingredients to finding happiness within. I talk about in one of my other videos, I don't remember which one it was, I think it was uh, it's like three ways to relieve stress. I talk about the internal battery. When I was a younger kid, I would noticed that being around certain people would just drain my energy. I would just be like, done. My mood would change. I didn't understand it. And so I kind of thought of it like a battery. Like, you know, they're coming around and they're draining the hell out of my battery. Now, I was probably about like 11 or 12 years old. I didn't really know the word internal too well, but I called it my inside battery. And basically, from that point on, I made a pact with myself that I would have an internal battery, an inside battery that nobody else could drain but myself. And so, in this video, we're going over three important keys to filling up that battery. One of the first things you should start doing is meditating. That way, you start to seclude yourself, you start to rise above the realm of thought, and you start to discover yourself. You start to know yourself. And so, meditation is not one of the three keys, I'd say, however, but it is a staple. I'd say it's the bottom line foundation to the house that you'll have to put the three keys in to unlock. Now, I've talked about purpose. That is the first key, finding a purpose. Now, let's say that you have a purpose and you know what it is, but whatever you're doing right now, you aren't too happy with. Or maybe you've started working on your purpose, but you're disappointed with it. You're dissatisfied. Now, this can come across as something negative, but as I said, don't look at things as positive or negative, good or bad, but just as is, and then you can really see through it. Now, this can come across as something like, you know, I'm not doing what I should be doing, or I suck at this, nothing's working, but dissatisfaction, or however you say that, dissatisfaction, there we go. But the thing about dissatisfaction is that it's a creative force. It can be the most creative force in the world as long as you act upon it. And that's the second key is acting, taking action upon it. Uh, you see a lot of entrepreneurs in the world today who are just using this one principle alone and action would correspond to the energies of Mars, which is also corresponded to the element of fire. You can definitely see in the entrepreneurs of the world today, them prestiging through life just by their own internal fire, pushing them through that motivation, getting them through. Now, a lot of people don't have the luxury of having that internal fire within them. And so if you're on your purpose and you're dissatisfied, make sure you're taking action because that's how you're going to take your purpose to the next step as action is the second key. Now we've gone over purpose and action as the first two keys, but what's the third key? Now the third key would be faith. Faith is one of the most important aspects of it because with no faith, you're not going to you're not going to be able to function. I think Tony Robbins talks about this. If you don't have faith that, you know, the ground is going to hold you up, you know, you'd be constantly paranoid. You have to have some base level of faith to be able to function whatsoever. And especially to manifesting that which you desire and to creating internal happiness. You need to have faith. And this is why in all the major religions of the world, faith is super important. O oh, ye of little faith. If you had the faith of a mustard seed, you would be able to uproot trees or move mountains. There's a few of them. Now, all these three keys, none of them being above each other, all of equal importance. Because the purpose 
as some would say, would be the most important thing. Now, as it would, it's almost like a piece of paper. The front can't exist without the back of it. The front isn't better than the back. Male isn't better than female or female isn't better than male. They're just both sides of the coin. And so with this coin, it's really a three-sided coin. Now, purpose is very important. Uh, without purpose, what are you even going to act upon? Action is really important as well because without action, you're staying at halt, like depression. And so with those two, then you also add faith. Because if you have no faith, it's going to be really hard to start gaining the momentum and start doing the actions and start getting it done. So... I'd say the three biggest keys to creating that internal battery, the thing that helped me the most was find a purpose, take action, and have faith. And technically, you see a lot of people getting by using these three keys alone, and they don't even meditate, use any exercises, anything like that. And so, apply these. And if you do meditate or have a spiritual practice, apply these three keys, and they should even take your results even further. And so that's all I really wanted to say today. This is the first time I've actually made a video that's under 15 minutes, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it's nothing really to announce other than go check out my Facebook and Instagram, because as I said, I am going to be posting more, and I have. So go check those out, and if you haven't been here before and you liked what I had to say, click here and subscribe. Make sure you check out my last video. It'll be right here, and then you can check out my last, last video right here. I will for you all to prosper and have a great day.